Halloween's over. Hi, welcome to Bishop Court. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. What's his favorite Thanksgiving food? Stuffing. Turkey! Mashed potatoes. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey and ham. We're here with Mr. Schlup and he's gonna tell us his favorite Thanksgiving food. Mashed potatoes. Uh, I like uh, sweet potato pie. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, stuffing. Favorite Thanksgiving food? Pumpkin pie and mashed potatoes. Thanksgiving food? Stuffing. Stuffing with gravy. Lots of stuffing and a nap after stuffing. So Big Al. Yeah. When was the first Thanksgiving? Uh, Thanksgiving Day? <laughs> when do you think the first Thanksgiving was? Probably around like 1950. Ouch! When do you think the first Thanksgiving was? 1920. Uh, like, when was the first Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going for 1600. No! <laughs> <laughs> like 1600s? Mr. H, when do you think the first Thanksgiving was? Uh, I think it was around 1620, around Yeah, it was 1621. Which president made Thanksgiving a permanent national holiday? Um, I think it's Lincoln, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Lincoln. Yeah. Do you guys know how to spell gratitude? G-R-A-T-I-T-U-D-E. Woo! Ben Hazlitt, how do you spell gratitude? Gratitude. C-R-U-S-H. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Bradley, can you explain to us the science behind gratitude? Absolutely. Um, in this time of year, it's always important to make sure that we consider gratitude and we are prepared for Thanksgiving. And there is an article that publishes the science about gratitude and how gratitude changes the brain. And what I would like to do is just kind of provide that information to you. When the brain feels gratitude, the parts of the brain that are activated include the ventral, dorsal, medial, prefrontal cortex, which is the front of the brain. These areas are involved in the feelings of reward. The reward when stress is removed. Moral morality, interpersonal bonding, and positive social interactions. And the ability to understand what other people are thinking or feeling. Gratitude also has the capacity to increase important neurochemicals. When thinking shifts from negative to positive, there is a surging of feel good chemicals such as dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. These all contribute to the feelings of closeness, connection, and happiness that come with gratitude. So in, in closing, there is an actual chemical change that happens in our brains when we are Thanksgiving. Eli Updike, do your best turkey dance. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? The Crusher Schoolhouse. <laughs> I'm here with Ava Mitchell and Emma Newcomer, and they're going to tell us what they're thankful for. I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for friends. I'm going to warm this guy up. I'm thankful for my friends and family and all my family here at McCord. I'm Katie. What are you guys thankful for? I'm thankful for my friends and family. I'm thankful for Marissa. 
I'm thankful for COVID. <laughs> I'm thankful for being here today. I am thankful for my family, and I am thankful for an opportunity and a wonderful education at McCourt. I am thankful for my friends and family. I am thankful for my teammates, coaches, and wrestling. I'm thankful for a Catholic education and food on the table. You guys are going to list off things you are grateful for. If there are bad answers, I will tell you. If there are good answers, you win. Okay, you have five seconds. Ready, set, go. Kirsten. <laughs> bad. Family. Good. Friends. Good. Food. Good. Good. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, look who lost. Oh, oh man. Only one because she said before. <laughs> I'm thankful for my husband's health. He has come a long way in the healing process. And I'm thankful, thankful, thankful for the students here at Fisher Report and my family. What are you guys thankful for? Go. Uh, Emma. <laughs> Maddie. My mom. My family. Um, my school. My friends. My parents. Um, uh, Catholic education. Um, my teachers. What are you guys thankful for? This party. I'm thankful for my friends and my family. My family and having friends and having nice neighbors. Hey Mr. Hornick, what does this Bible verse say about Thanksgiving? Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. So the Bible verse basically means that we're all to be together, we're supposed to be a family, we're supposed to be one, uh, we're supposed to be thankful for having each other, um, and we're supposed to build those relationships to do good by ourselves and by others and by God. Ms. Castro, what does this Bible verse say about Thanksgiving? Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, His love endures forever. From Chronicles 1, chapter 16, verse 34. Well, I think it tells us that we should be thankful that we have a God that loves us so deeply and so immensely that His love will never run out and that his love is always there no matter what is going on in our lives. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Feliz Dia de Gracias. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.